Understanding the Money Market, a Beginner's Guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the world of finance, specifically focusing on understanding the term money market. This is a crucial concept in economics and finance, and our goal is to make it clear and easy to understand for English language learners. The money market is a section of the financial market where short-term financial instruments with high liquidity are traded. This means it involves lending and borrowing money for a short period, typically up to one year. It is a safe place for parking surplus funds temporarily. The money market is vital for supporting the liquidity of financial markets and the overall economy. In this section, we will explore the main instruments used in the money market. 1. Treasury Bills, T-Bills, these are government-issued short-term securities. 2. Certificates of Deposit, CDs, these are issued by banks and typically offer higher interest rates than savings accounts. 3. Commercial Paper, a short-term debt instrument issued by companies to finance their immediate needs. 4. Repurchase Agreements, these involve the sale of securities with an agreement to repurchase them at a later date. Understanding these instruments helps in comprehending how the money market functions. The money market is crucial for several reasons. It provides liquidity to businesses and the government. It enables efficient management of short-term funds. It helps in stabilizing the economy by providing a mechanism for handling short-term financial needs and excesses. The money market impacts individuals and businesses alike. For individuals, it influences the interest rates on savings accounts and short-term loans. For businesses, it is a source of short-term funding. Understanding the money market can help you make more informed financial decisions. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has shed light on the concept of the money market and its significance in both personal and business finance. Remember, understanding financial terms not only enhances your English language skills but also broadens your knowledge of how the economic world functions. See you in our next video.